Okay, Slakia, I almost got through the lesson, but let me keep reading. Deuteronomy 31 and uh, 19. Now, therefore, write ye this song for you and teach it. The children of Israel put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. And the song is what? The Bible, the laws. For when I shall when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. So the worst thing you could do, it ain't having a, a couple wives, like you Christians will demonize a man for having more than one wife, but you, you're okay with turning to other gods. <laughs> you see the hypocrisy? And that's the true evil. All right, I got to get through this lesson before the phone dies. Let's see, let me plug it in. Now I'm almost done here. But I'm in verse 20, 21. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles are befallen them that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed. For I know their imagination which they go about even now before I have brought them into the land which I swear. All right, so... It's already coming to pass. It's been coming to pass multiple times, multiple generations of Israelites, you know, to the point where we, like I said earlier, we lost everything. We lost our heritage. We lost our power. We lost our um, dominion. We lost our, you know, we lost our, um, Yahweh hid his face from us, right? We've been devoured by the heathen. Spiritually, mentally, physically. But now, like I said earlier, we're in a time of of uh, mercy. Yahweh has mercy. Even though the, the people hate the prophets, the prophets are a sign of Yahweh having mercy on you Israelites. Namely, the one-third of Israel who's actually going to benefit from the prophets. Okay? Um... Where am I at? Verse 22. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it to the children of Israel. Why? Because Moses was a prophet. He taught the scripture. Verse 23. And he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge and said, Be strong and of good courage, for thou shalt bring the, the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. Right, so if you're a true prophet of Yahweh, Bashem, Yashai, we don't have to be fearful. We don't have to have lack of courage. Because why? Because Yahweh is with his, well, he's with his men. You stupid Christians out there thinking, oh, he, he's with everybody. Where two are gathering in his name, he there be, will be there also. Well, yeah, if you're an Israelite, if you're one of the, uh, one of the elect, you, you, you people who like to quote these verses loosely without any, without having understanding on them, you know, you, you don't realize that it's not apply. It doesn't apply to you. If you're not calling on the true names, if you're not, you know, making an attempt to, to, you know, keep the laws, you know, if you're not reverencing, you know, the, the, the Holy Spirit, 